Hi everybody, it's Justin from Model Trains 365 and I want to take a minute to share a quick update on one of the projects that I've been working on for my HO scale Heartland Division layout. It's my 26 car Herzog ballast train that you see passing by in front of you. Stay tuned and I'll go over some of the products that I've used and the work that I've done to create this unique maintenance away unit train. Stick around until the end and I'll have a real speed run by of the entire train for you to enjoy. On the head end, I've got these two scale trains, Jeevos. Uh, both of these are sound and DCC installed, and uh, I weathered these both myself with just a light dusting of some road grime and a little bit of roof discoloration there from the exhaust. Overall, I think they turned out pretty good. I also used uh, Tamea panel wash on those panels. That always has a good effect and super easy to use. The cars I used are these Athern ready to roll models. Uh, they release three sets of three row numbers in a pack and a single car of the number 7260. So you can see the Athern 74, 75 through 78 is the skew for those. So I have uh, some duplicate road numbers, which I did not renumber, but that's just fine with me on this unit train. As mentioned in one of my previous videos, I started off by installing the ballast door details. These are available from MacRail products. And I chose the non-cut version. You can see there the ribbing on the car is still in place. I didn't need to cut that as the detail just fits over it. The only modification is moving this undercarriage detail from this spot over here to the middle. And I just did that, cutting it off with an X-Acto knife and then putting it back on with some super glue. And for each car, I replaced the Atherin stock couplers with the KD-158s. These are the scale head whisker couplers. So really easy to install and the scale size uh, Really works out good for the cars, makes them look a lot better than the oversized knuckles. The scale head couplers don't affect operations as this is a unit train and I don't expect it to become uncoupled at any time by an operator. For the weathering on the cars, I kept it pretty simple and just did a few different methods. The first one, being just the ballast doors, weathered them up to look like the gravel's been pouring out. On every car, I did the trucks and the wheel sets, as well as the couplers have been weathered. Moving on to the next one, just a little bit heavier weathering, a little bit of kick up on the car body itself. Nothing, nothing too bad there. And then we moved on and I've got some graffiti with the tags and the white ninja, as well as the paint out blanks. Now those paint out blanks are just kind of decals from smoke box graphics. The ninja guy is from fusion scale graphics and then the tag graffiti is a micro scale set. On this one here you can see a lot more heavier weathering, more or less just a fade on it as well as the numbering or the road number of the car has been masked off to look like it was painted on an older car. For this one, I just used a 50-50 mix of white and water to make almost like a milky substance and just sprayed it on there nice and easy and it actually turns out with a nice fade. On the inside of the cars, I didn't really focus too much because later on if I add the slope sheets, then I'll hit the weathering on the inside and focus on that a lot more at that time. As far as future plans go for this train, as I mentioned, slope sheets are in the works to put inside each car, and then I'll load them up with some Arizona Rock and Mineral Company live ballast for loads, as well as adding the top mount solar panels to each car. And that about sums it up for this project for now. So as promised earlier, if you stick around to the end, 
I'll have a run by for you. Thanks for watching.